Yo, what's up YouTube? Vito here, bringing you a new Halo 5 video. Today I'm gonna talk about the Halo 3 Classic Throwback Playlist, which if you guys don't know, was implemented recently to celebrate Halo 3's 10 year anniversary. That's right, 10 years. I think a lot of people, me included, were super hopeful for some sort of Halo 3 anniversary game or a remaster or something. I know I was really, really excited for that for a while. I think Pure Fortune made a statement saying that it wouldn't happen. So, you know, that's that's okay. I mean, for me, as much as I love Halo 3, I know it's the way it felt was due to the experience back then. It was a culmination of a lot of things, including like the community, uh, the features being new at the time, and just like the booming Halo scene being the like the peak of the trilogy. I think it had a lot of things going right for it. I don't think it's something you can really remake in terms of just sheer coincidence almost. Just the perfect timing. Looking back on it, I think Halo 3 was kind of like the League of Legends of console gaming, if not gaming in general. And it was back at the time where like the 360 was a really, really powerful console. And you know, like it made more sense to own a console than just game on PC almost. Unless you're playing like some sort of MMO or something, I think made more sense on console, obviously. And that's where most people were at the time. It'll be hard to find someone who has not played or heard of Halo 3. So anyways, Super 2 decided to celebrate Halo 3's 10 year anniversary by implementing a classic throwback playlist in Halo 5. Which, honestly, they've done a really solid job in emulating the way Halo 3 felt. But obviously it's not Halo 3, it's built within the Halo 5 sandbox, the Halo 5 mechanics. Having said that, the game types have been customized in such a way that it's pretty much spot on accurate as far as movement, jumping, the lack of abilities feels. Like this is pretty much as close as it gets within the Halo 5 sandbox. And I, I want to give a big shout out to the guys who worked on this. I know Ghost AM is a big factor. Ridzi Pizza, Unishek, and Bartle Bai, which are all 342 members. At least those are the ones that I know of. Obviously there's more, it was like a team effort, but those guys mostly stand out for their work on this. Big shout out to them. Personally, I'm very, very pleased with this. I've had a lot of fun playing it. There was a, a little bug in the playlist, a shell regen bug, where like your shells would take too long to regen. This has been addressed pretty much overnight, which to me is really impressive. That is a very fast response time. Uh, the bug was that the shells just took a little too long to come back. Now this is fixed, shells come back at a reasonable time. And to me, it's a testament to the effort that has gone into this. And also the Forgers. The Forgers have done an amazing job with some of the remakes. Very, very minimal, if any at all, any sort of frame rate issues. I've been, personally, I've not experienced frame rate issues at all. The maps are very, very spot on in terms of feel. Pretty much all the jumps you can think of are still on the maps. Obviously, there's not every single map in the game. Some maps are missing. I think it's okay because the maps that we actually get in the playlist are very, very spot on in terms of feel. But there's something that's very important to note, and it is that this place is not trying to feel exactly like Halo 3. And if you go in there expecting the game to feel exactly like Halo 3, uh, that's not what you're gonna get. I can tell you right now. Like, this is a throwback, and it's important to know there's no abilities like ground pounce, sprint, thrust, clamber, uh, whatever else, power and charge. All that stuff is gone. Like, this is a, a solid throwback, right? But it's not a carbon copy of what it was, right? It's still like the Halo 5 sandbox. The BR is still pretty damn accurate. Uh, the weapons are still like reasonably strong. I think the autos, from my experience, have not been a problem because when there's no like thrust or sprint, they're just like soaring. I think it's a lot easier to counter the automatics. At best, they get used like kind of like as a uh, close quarter counter. Once someone's pushing you, you just plot your AR or something. I haven't really had any sort of first rate experiences where like someone just beelines me across the map with their assault rifle and just destroys me. Uh, the fact that it's also BR star helps a lot when it comes to countering automatics. So despite the fact that it's Halo 5 sandbox, this makes a lot of sense to me. I've been saying that on Twitter, but to me, if there was like a modern Halo that was based off of classic settings, I would love for the game to feel like this. Obviously, the weapons would need to change a little bit. There's no doubt about that. And, you know, I don't have anything against, like, thrust or clamber. I think those mechanics help a lot with the movement, with the flow of the map. It helps make the combat more interesting, in a way. It's less, like, awkward scenarios. It's more into the action right off the bat. Having said that, I enjoy a lot the no sprint, constantly shooting and looking at people type of gameplay. That's what Halo is to me. You're just, like, constantly shooting at people, even when you're running away from someone. You're looking around, you're looking at them, you're still shooting back, you're not just like running away and like just getting shot in the back, you know? Unless you're strong sighting, but that's a different story. Now, for those of you guys who were around the Reach, I think a solid analogy I can give you for how this feels is think of when No Bloom No Sprint was implemented. This is sort of like the No Bloom No Sprint of Halo 3, if that makes sense. Like, all of a sudden, imagine your BR just shooting dead on accurate, no randomness, no nothing. That's pretty much what this feels like in terms of relation to Halo 3, right? So, you know how in Reach, in default settings, you had the massive bloom, your bullets were pretty much going in random places, and all of a sudden, there's No Bloom No Sprint, your BR is a freaking laser gun, pretty much. Uh, that's kind of what it's feels like. Consider this like the no bloom, no sprint. Even though Halo 3 never had sprint, this is pretty much like no bloom, no sprint. Maybe like <laughs> no no spread, no equipment of Halo 3 if that makes sense. 
But yeah, I've, I've enjoyed this a lot. It's been really fun. I highly recommend getting on Halo 5 to test it out. If you guys have not checked out the game in a while, this is a great time to get back on. If you enjoy Halo 3 or just like enjoy a more classic Halo, you know, no abilities and whatnot, I promise this is worth getting on to uh, give a shot. The Fortress cannot get enough credit for how much hard work that has gone into this. Because the remakes are spot on. There's all the jumps you would think of. And I don't know, it's just like a really amazing experience. So yeah, I recommend checking it out. 3 will keep it for at least, I think they said two or three weeks. At the very least in Magic King. Now, whether it stays or not in the long term depends on how popular the playlist is. So I guess the best way to make sure it stays the game is just to play it. You know, we just hop in there, get some games in every now and then. And you know, that's the best way to really show your support. And I think if they notice that maybe if this is really popular, it might have some influence in the future of Halo. Who knows? Because, you know, there's been a lot of hype around Halo 3 lately. And like, if the Virtue sees that something like this is popular within Halo 5 even, and also with like all the hype surrounding Halo 3 Anniversary potentially, well, not really a potential thing anymore, but you know, all the hype surrounding it and just the Halo 3 backwards compatible hype too. I think it could have some sort of influence on the future of the game. So I think it's good to show appreciation for those settings. Kind of let Triforce you know that these things are so enjoyed. You know, I'm not saying like Modern Hill is trash, like poop on it. But no, I'm just saying that like, it's good not to forget where it came from, is what I'm getting at. And I think the more we go towards our roots, the more we'll bring back what made Halo super good. I didn't want to say great again. I don't want to say make Halo great again because yeah. But you get what I'm getting at, right? If we show we enjoy classic Halo, I think it could impact the future of Halo. Anyways, I don't want to make too long a video. I've already been talking and rambling for so long now. Just do me a favor. If you like Classic Halo, hop into this. If you already tried it, let me know your thoughts. I'd like to hear what you guys think of this, how you feel about this, what you would like to see different, how you like the fact there's no like sprint or abilities. I know some people have said that it feels slower, but to me, I kind of disagree. I think sprint actually makes the game slower because when you're sprinting, you're not shooting. Whereas in this, you're always looking at your opponents, always shooting back. Even when you're trying to take cover or run away, there's no reason not to look at the person like shoot back. So it's more action in my opinion. Even though it feels like the movement's slower, you're just shooting more often. So you're fighting more often. That's kind of like the point. Whereas in sprint, you're either running or shooting. It's not both at the same time, right? Does that make sense? I do agree that the base movement could be bumped up a little faster. It would also help the VR not feel as strong. Other than that, this is pretty solid. Anyways, leave your thoughts. Tell me how you feel about this. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys who have yet to try this out enjoy this as much as I did. Because it's been a blast. Peace out, guys.